you know, just me being me. I'll be taking you with me because it's always funner. Funner? It's always more fun with a friend. Dinner, now, now, now. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> I should prep my strawberry floating floating puff. It was. I'm all over the place today, you guys. This is just. This is how my brain is this morning. Oh, get a sweaty workout. Yep. Already instant regret. She's asking me to do things with my body that my body is not capable of. Nothing like trying to work out and feeling like a failure afterwards. And I'm not a failure. Cause one day we'll be looking back at this. We were in a big mess together. Oh, but we found a way to choose right from wrong. We found the strength to go on together. I've been trying my best for a while. Trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box. I'm just doling out my drugs while we talk. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but since I started taking that sleep, natural sleep thing on Friday night, yeah, Friday night. I've been sleeping a lot better, so I'm gonna give it a little bit longer before I give you all the full skivvy, but I'm pretty excited because the last two nights I've slept all the way through the night until like just a few minutes before my alarm went off. So that's exciting because that has not been the case lately, let me tell you. It is a somewhat rainy slash threatening to be rainy kind of morning here in Central Texas. And it's supposed to stay this way until noon. So while I would normally take a WALK first thing in the morning, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I also chose to spend a ton of time playing video games with my husband this weekend rather than edit today's video. So I'm gonna need to do that this morning. You know, just me being me. Thankfully, I had a portion of leftover lunch from last week so I'm only needing to cook really one meal today because we're back to the tried and true breakfast this week because I didn't want to make anything major for breakfast this week. Last week I went a little ham with the cooking and I spent pretty much all day Monday cooking and I knew that I wasn't going to have time for that when I meal planned for this week. I'm going to have a fairly busy week this week. Uh, next week I have my photo shoot for my 100 pound weight loss. We're still not quite to the 100 pound weight loss. So I'm hoping that maybe that's gonna happen this week because that would feel really strange to do the 100 pound weight loss celebration photo shoot without actually hitting 100 pounds. But you know, we're gonna be close and it'll happen soon, you know? But I need to schedule a hair appointment. I need to find a couple of outfits. And you guys know how much I love to shop. I'll be taking you with me because it's always funner. Funner? It's always more fun with a friend. And when I have you guys with me, it feels like I'm shopping with a friend. Because I am. I'm shopping with approximately 2,500 of you. Today, I have a little bit of cooking to do and a whole lot of editing to do and hopefully some walking to do because last week, our exercise was not very consistent because of the weather. I'm gonna have to figure out an alternative for when it's raining because we're getting into the wetter season for Texas. We do have a gym here at the apartment complex so I could walk on the treadmill. I just really hate walking on treadmills. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure it out. Let's go get this day started. Before I get further into the process of today, I figured I would hurry up and do my shop because that seems to be something that I forget these days when I get too busy. So first thing I'm gonna do is sanitize the area. For those of you who've been around for a while, this is just old hat, but if you're new, I will be happy to show you this process. So you need to sanitize before you inject and let that fully dry, otherwise it will sting. It'll probably sting anyway, but 
You don't need to worry about leaving it out of the fridge for a certain period of time. The literature specifically says that makes no difference and that has been my experience as well. Sometimes it stings cold, sometimes it stings not cold, so it doesn't matter. So there's a very specific order of operations here. By the way, sad day, one of my nails popped off. I'm very upset, but because I love these nails and I cannot find it, I don't know when it happened. You're gonna take the gray cap off. The medication is in here. You should be able to see a little bubble going back and forth. And then there's a little ridged collar on this side with two pictures, one of a locked lock and one of a green unlocked lock. It should be on the locked position. You're not going to unlock it until it is already on your skin because you don't want to have a misfire. And then this purple button is what dispenses the meds. There will be two clicks. The first click is the needle going into your skin. The second click is the needle coming out of your skin. So there's no wondering whether or not the meds are done dispensing. Now that that's dry, take the lid off. That needle is exposed, so once the lid is off, it doesn't go back on. I'm gonna push firmly to the skin, unlock the collar, push to dispense. Didn't hardly feel that at all. I definitely didn't feel the needle. I never feel the needle, but sometimes I feel the drugs going in. Drugs. Uh, that time, not so much. There was a little bit of bead of the medication coming back up, but normally I have a little bit of blood, nothing this time. Little, teeny tiny little pinprick but that's it that's all there is to it and then we're gonna go about our day I'm gonna make some breakfast real quick and eat it my kitchen is an absolute atrocious disaster don't get on my case queue it happens sometimes this weekend Richard and I just wanted to be chill we didn't want to worry about anything and I know you guys probably think that happens a lot and it probably does compared to other people but you know what we like our quiet time and that's okay Dinner now, 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 another one bites the dust. <laughs> Get your face out of my food. Tell you what? This dog trying to steal my food. So this is just leftover turkey, sweet potato, meatloaf, and instant mashed potatoes from last week. Quite delicious. Highly recommend. Oh, I'm so behind on this edit. I'm almost done, but. It's going up way later than I wanted it to because I decided to be lazy this weekend. And I know that that's okay. And it's it's important for me to have some time when I don't work, but I still feel guilty. That guilt and pressure is 100% internally generated. Nobody's telling me that that is not okay, but me. Can I help you? You know I'm not gonna feed you over there. Anyway, I feel like I don't talk to you guys very much. I don't know why I feel that way. I just do, I'm having that thought this morning, not feeling like I haven't been talking to you all much. But I don't know why. Well, I know why, it's because I haven't been filming as much, but it's not like I was able to use all the footage where I was talking last before because most of the time I was just saying the same stuff over and over again. Anyway, I just want to come on and say hi. Ask me how you're doing. How's your goals? Are you feeling good about where you're at? Not good about where you're at? Why? Tell me the things. Inquiring minds want to know. Say hi down in the comments. I want to hear from you. I'm going to eat my food and finish my edit. Get my butt in gear. Bye. It's that time again, y'all. This is just a few days worth of dishes. I hate them. Is it too much to ask to have a dish fairy that just pops into your kitchen and just waves its magic wand and magically all of this disappears? This is not the first time that I have wished that I live in Harry Potter. It's just trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way. Gonna let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't want to be stuck in more in conversations with you. All right. It's not perfect, but it is infinitely better than it was before. And now I can cook in here without feeling like I'm going to give my family watchalism or something. Hey guys, 
I'm getting ready to throw together this creamy chicken enchilada soup and I'm pretty excited about it because it's really it's different than any other enchilada soup I've done normally a creamy enchilada soup or even just an enchilada soup in general is going to have a ton of cheese or maybe cream cheese or something like that while I'm not dairy free I have noticed that a lot of cheese products seem to have a lot of calories for the flavor payoff so the cool thing about this soup is instead of using dairy it uses beans so there's going to be two cans of beans going in this soup one of them is going to be left whole and the other one is going to be blended up and mixed into the soup to make the soup creamy with beans i think it's going to be really tasty and that should make it thick as well and all of the spices and things look really yummy so i'm excited about this I will say I accidentally forgot to put a jalapeno popper, jalapeno popper, a jalapeno pepper on my shopping list. So I have a poblano that I'm going to be using for my lunches that I'm going to cook tomorrow. And I'm just going to take half of it for this recipe and half of it for the other recipe. Because honestly, one was probably going to be a lot for the quantity of the lunch stuff that I'm going to be making. So I'm going to add the poblano to this. And then the order of operations that I'm using for the soup is slightly different than the recipe calls for because if you've been here for a while, you guys know my husband has an aversion to vegetables. He refuses to eat them unless he's unaware of their presence or they are undetectable. So he likes the flavor of most vegetables. He just can't stand the texture. So the way that this recipe has you doing everything is it's cooking everything together and then it's having you blend the can of beans and throw it in at the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook everything together, poach the chicken and the broth with everything. And when I take the chicken out to shred it, I'm going to puree the whole soup with the single can of beans. And then I'm going to add the whole can of beans at the end with the corn and the lime juice and those things. So without any further ado, a little too late, short story long, let's throw this together. Oh, I'm also going to throw in a little bit of cayenne because I'm losing the heat from the jalapeno pepper because poblanos are not spicy. That's it. Let's do this. I'm going to leave it all behind. Find myself. I'm going to start with a new. Yeah. I'm on my way now. Now that that's at a simmer, we're gonna leave the lid off and let it go for about 25 minutes and then we'll take the chicken out and shred it. I'll be going away for a while. Oh, and I don't know what I'll find. Maybe I can be a rock star playing songs on my guitar. I know I have to be somewhere else to be able to find myself. Shouldn't be so complicated. You guys, I'm so mad. I was just sitting here thinking, oh, I should prep my strawberry protein puff. My strawberry protein fluff so that it's ready when I want to eat it later. I eat my strawberries. This is dumb and I hate it. I was really looking forward to that. If I listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna stop. So I remember one of you telling me once that you make this not necessarily with the strawberries. So I'm going to try making it without the strawberries. It better not be gross. Also, I'm trying to whip it to get the curds out because I know a lot of you have said that you don't like the texture of the curds. So I'm going to try it this way and I'll let you know if it's good or not. I'm still mad about the strawberries. Let's throw it together. Yeah. I'm on my way now. 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 Alright. It's been so long since I've seen you, my friend. Let's see how this texture is. 
It was a heck of an adventure getting here. I just got that immersion blender and the it was too much mixture for the uh, little food processor attachment. So then I used just the regular one and it's just really not the right tool for the job. It, I just didn't want to get down my big food processor and that's really what I needed to use. Yeah, it needs the strawberries. <laughs> Still tasty. If I had only used the 16 ounces of cottage cheese, this probably would have been fine. But it's quite a bit more savory without the actual fruit in it. So for those of you who've been saying that it's too sweet, try doing the 24 ounces of cottage cheese with the 0.3 ounce sugar-free jello and don't mix in any fruit. I miss the curds. It's more the texture of ricotta now but it's not totally smooth. It might have gotten there with a food processor, but I kind of doubt it. It's still tasty. I will be happy to eat it. You guys have a good night. By the way, dinner was delicious. You should make that soup. It is very tasty. The end. Bye. Good morning, party people. It's workout day. Yay! Sorry, the maintenance guy came to change the battery on our fire detector, our smoke detector. It started screaming last night, and I don't know if you know those stupid ones that are wired into the power, and they won't stop screaming at you until you change the battery, and it happened last night at like 10.30. Or not 10.30, it was like 9.30 or something like that. Anyway, thankfully Richard was still awake, and he got up on the ladder and figured out how to unplug the dumb thing so we could at least sleep, because they scream so loud! Why is that necessary? Anyway, completely forgot what I was talking to you about. Oh, I um, reworked the workout playlists on my channel. So you guys can always see my playlists, they're public. And I separated them out by resistance, yoga, low impact or no impact, uh, the booty band workouts, which I won't be doing anymore, but if you're interested, they're there. And I even have a few cardio workouts on there for those of you who are interested in that. And I've started looking into like bar workouts and I'm going to be looking into some Pilates workouts as well. So I have all of those in there. They're all s separated out by type so that it's easier because I was having a hard time finding the types of workouts that I wanted because I had saved so many. So now they're a little bit more sorted. I also just recently, well, last night, started a Pinterest page for my YouTube channel. So it's Mindy P Weight Loss. That's what all of my tags are across all of my social media that I have for my YouTube channel. My Instagram, my YouTube channel name is Mindy P Weight Loss, and then my Pinterest. So you guys have access to all of the recipes that I have saved on Pinterest. They're all there with the separation and all of that that I showed you in my meal planning video. So feel free to follow me there. You're welcome to see those. I am also going to, in an attempt to try and reduce the amount of soreness that I am feeling after, I've done a lot of research, some people say it's not necessary, some people say it is, but we're going to try, I've tried it in the past and it hasn't helped a whole lot, but we're going to try again. I'm going to make sure that I do just a short, like, cool down stretching routine after I do my workout today because I really don't want to be in pain for the next several days, because let me tell you, last week was rough. <laughs> So, I don't know if you can tell I'm stalling again. Oh, dinner last night. That's soup. It was very, I, I'm all over the place today, you guys. This is just, this is how my brain is this morning. So, it was very, very good. I enjoyed it a lot. My husband actually really liked it, which was surprising because soups are never really his favorite. And it, I mean, it definitely isn't his favorite, but he enjoyed it. It did not make very much. It said four servings and I was like, well, then I'll make it for four servings and I did my calories for four servings and I ate a four serving portion which was very large but it it is literally only four servings so if you've got more than just you or two people in your house you may want to double that one because it said four to six servings but if I had done a six serving size that would have been like a child's portion so just so you know it's there and I put Greek yogurt in mine because our sour cream died in the <laughs> the power outage a few weeks ago and so I used Greek yogurt because I had heard that you could use that as a substitution for sour cream it tasted exactly the same as sour cream to me but it added a little extra protein so that was nice I liked it very good without any further procrastination 
I guess it's time to get a workout in. Let's go. I know you guys hear me mention it, but I do have these linked on my Amazon store and I really like them way better than a yoga mat. And honestly, depending on the yoga mat, they're not that much more expensive. And if you're a plus size girl or guy, you will know that most yoga mats are useless. Yeah, sure, why not? We will try this bar sculpt workout. I may regret my life choices, but we'll give it a shot. Hi, Michaela. Oh, get a sweaty workout. Oh, good. Already instant regret. My stomach is growling. <laughs> oh, hell no, Michaela. Okay, well, yeah, that was nice. A little warm up there. So, super. Some things Mindy just learned about herself. We are not ready for bar. No, ma'am. She's she's asking me to do things with my body that my body is not capable of. Okay, we're gonna just uh, pretend like that didn't happen. Whew. We'll do a little yoga with Adrian. Jeez Louise, that was intense. my knees but they are that was extremely painful for me staying on my knees for that long different musics playing and they don't they're not friends don't know that I can do this one with my knees hurting so bad start making breakfast and we'll talk about what just happened that was really frustrating first I tried that bar workout and it was really more than I could handle it's like it was demanding more strength wise than what I have. And then I moved to that yoga with Adrian workout. But I was spending all that time on my wrists and my knees and it just hurt. And I'm not gonna do a workout that puts me in pain. Then I felt defeated and like I just couldn't do anything. People just stick to the resistance workouts because while they are challenging, I know that it's something I can actually do. Nothing like trying to work out and feeling like failure afterwards. Even professionals don't destroy every workout, right? It's what I'm gonna tell myself because it makes me feel better. to beat myself up over my workout. It's hard enough for me to convince myself to actually work out, but then feeling like a failure after I did is not something that usually happens. I usually feel a sense of accomplishment and pride that I did the hard thing, but this time I didn't do the hard thing. I failed at both of them. So I'm gonna do my best to pull myself out of this funk and tell myself that the important thing is that I did it and I'll do better next time.
I'm not a failure. I feel like the closer I'm getting to my 100 pound goal, it feels like I'm being self-destructive sometimes. I'm having self-destructive thoughts. I'm falling out of routines that have been that have been ingrained for months that I wasn't struggling with, but now all of a sudden it's a struggle. I don't understand why. I'll be okay. I'm gonna watch a funny YouTube video to try and cheer myself up. I'm gonna wash my face and do my hair and put on clothes and maybe that'll make me feel more put together and accomplished. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate you. Hey guys, Richard got off early today, so he's on his way home and we're gonna catch some lunch together. And then I'm gonna stop by the UPS store because I have had several packages delivered in the last couple of days. I'm excited to see what they are. The soup and tacos and yum. I don't think I've filmed on this couch since my very first video. Those are my boxes. Those are for me. So I stopped by my mailbox today. They have a whole bunch of packages and I don't know what they are. Oh, I might know what this one is. This is from Paige. Thank you, Paige. Super cute. It's got all lemons on it. Let's see what this is. Like the world's dullest scissors. There's no note. <laughs> I love that. That's so amazing. I don't know who sent this to me, but I love it. This is fantastic. Again, thank you for sending that. I don't know who sent it. There's no note. Let me know down in the comments if you sent this to me. Thank you. Really? Oh, I'm very excited about these. I can't open these yet. She wanted to share a few of her favorites on her Mandura journey. She's praying that all is well my way and thanks for daily inspiration. Thank you, Nicole. Fun. So we have some Atkins strawberry cheesecake dessert bars. So one bar is 130 calories, seven grams of protein, and I don't really care about the rest, but <laughs> three net carbs if you count carbs. I've never had these before. Oh, I'm excited to try those. A food journal and it came with a little measuring tape. That's awesome because I'm constantly misplacing mine. So now I can have two. Set goals, track progress, be active, stay motivated, get results. If only it was that easy. Don't wish for a good body, work for it. Boy, if those aren't some words of wisdom. It's got like a body measurement tracker, a progress tracker, how to measure your body. This is really cool. Cool. Thank you. That's neat. This is heavy. This is what made the package heavy. Okay. Oh. Looks like salt. Oh, it's GHU sauces. I've been wanting to try these. So this is a sugar-free teriyaki marinade. Five calories per tablespoon and one gram of protein. And then sugar-free orange ginger marinade. I've been wanting to make a like an Asian chicken salad type thing. That could be really fun for that for a marinade. A sugar-free lemon herb marinade. Ooh, that sounds delicious with chicken. This one has 10 calories per tablespoon, zero grams of protein. Fun! We'll have to get into some trouble with those marinades and see what we can do. Well, thank you, Nicole. That was an awesome package of goodies. That's some fun stuff to try. You guys do not need to send me things, but thank you so much. That was very sweet. I am love getting letters and correspondence and comments and everything from you guys so i wanted to make sure that i had the box other than trying to make some room for some protein fluff tonight 
I don't think that you're going to be getting a whole lot more out of me. I'm pretty exhausted. I Richard, after we had lunch, he wanted to come home and play video games, so that meant that all the time I would have been spending on my edit had to wait until later. I'm pretty blown mentally. I am very excited because I got a hair appointment scheduled for Thursday morning to chop my hair off. I think that's it for this video. I'm sorry that there wasn't a lot of cooking going on. I had planned to do two more recipes today, but it just didn't happen. So I will just share them with you later this week. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for your kind words of encouragement. Please let me know if there's any way that I can be an encouragement to you down in the comments. And I will see you in the next one.